police say. The difference now is with Twitter, with social media, with shows like y'all have here, there's other voices that people can listen to. And that's why it's a truly revolutionary time because it's, people don't just have to accept what the government's telling them. And that generally was the case until the rise of the Internet. Exactly. And there are no government officials here telling us what to say, although they probably like to do that. We're going to take calls in the next segment. Adam, you ready for that? You ready to hear some I more am. callers? All right. We had Samuel earlier who was very, very angry, and I think justifiably so. But I want uh, callers who are coming up. We got Dion, Kristen, Chris, and Jimmy. I want you guys to have a, uh, a question or comment for the guest. And, and then if you want to bring up something else real quick or, you know, ancillary to that, um, feel free to, but he's worked with, you've worked on CPS cases, you've worked in police brutality cases. So like, what are some of the cases you've, you've done in your career? Uh, the main focus of what I do is personal injury, which is the traditional car crash, truck crash, things of that sort. The subspecialty I have is police brutality. So I've handled everything from wrongful imprisonment, police shootings, taserings. I was on the show about a year ago when uh, Noe Nino de Rivera was tased in a high school in Bastrop, mm -hmm. this was the young man that was tased. And he hit his head. And brain yeah, injury. Yeah. And so we look at all cases and we've handled many of them. And they're very important cases. They're very important cases. Most lawyers will not touch these cases. Needless to say, these cases are very difficult. You're suing the government. You're up against public opinion. You have issues of race you must deal with when you try these cases. Um, because often, especially here in federal court, the jury is generally all white. And generally, it's minority victims. And so it makes it very complicated. But I think it's extremely important that these cases are brought because the government must be held accountable. And if the government is not held accountable in some way, uh, the government will continue to do worse things. And so I think that's why these cases are so important. And, you know, the work you're doing isn't flashy. It's not exciting. I mean, I guess when you're in the courtroom, it is. But uh, the overall general approach. But this is the way we have to do this if we're going to live in a civilized society. We have to follow the rules that are set up and, and and do it the right way but you can get justice i think if you really work at it our guest adam lowry adam lowy we'll be right back it's rob do with the infowars.com alex jones show and we'll be right back after this short break stay tuned we are live it's the alex jones show you can watch it or listen to it but if you want to watch it live you go to infowars.com forward slash show and you can watch a free stream that we put out and if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member, you can just go to PrisonPlanet.tv. And you can also share your username and password with up to 20 people. And uh, you get them educated. Right now we have Jimmy, we have Scott, Kristen, Chris, and Hal. We're going to go to your calls in this segment. But first, uh, one of the products that I take just about every day, several times a week, definitely, Survival Shield X2. It is nascent iodine. And uh, let me tell you, there's nothing like the taste of iodine uh, that's pure right on your tongue. I've, I do, uh, I'll do a dropper full of this every once in a while. I usually put it in my, my uh, shakes that I make you several times a week. Good, looks like it's working. Well, it, it helps. Let me tell you, um, it, it's uh, what the ultra pure Survivor Shield nascent iodine is harvested from the deep earth crystals, eight thousand feet below the surface, and uh, it's ultra pure. Doctor Group spent you know, years trying to secure this. And that's actually footage I shot at the laboratory where they make it. Those are the actual iodine crystals if you're watching this on TV right now. And uh, they keep them locked in a safe. And you could take these crystals out and put them on a hot plate in a, in a little beaker and they'll just gas up. They're, it's, it's so, like, powerful. And when you're in the room watching them make this stuff, they're, you know, basically mixing a few of their ingredients together. And then they're uh, in these big glass, you know, Dr. Group does everything in glass, and um, it's these big glass bowls, and it's being stirred constantly for a couple days, and then they shoot it into into these little uh, these one ounce bottles. And uh, you can, I would, I if I was you, I would have several of these. Have have one that you use. I use it on. Uh, I get cuts. I'll put it on the band aid. It works. It works. It works better than anything you could buy. Uh, any of this antibacterial stuff. Um, this just kills the bacteria. And I want to read a couple comments um, that people. You know, people have really given this. It's a, it's got a five star rating. Improves overall well being a lot. This is from JB in St. Louis. The pros. He says it acts quickly. It's good taste. No side effects. Produces results and simple to take. It's very simple. Uh, this stuff is very powerful stuff that your body needs to work its best. I love it and will continue to use it and many other of the products here. Bottom line, yes, I would recommend it to a friend. No cons listed right there. And uh, and this is from Hornet in Ann Arbor, Michigan. OMG, which is uh, tech speak for oh my God, this stuff is good. This is good stuff. 
Good taste, no side effects. Uh, produces results, simple to take. No cons, best uses for men and women. I first bought the X2 because I was worried about the leak in Japan, but my wife lost 30 pounds using it. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I couldn't believe the weight just fell off. Thank you. And that's when, you know, when you're able to get your thyroid back into working shape because it's been destroyed with all the crap we put in our bodies. When you're able to do that, everything in your body starts working again. And you will be amazed by it. Let me tell you, I am 41 years old and I have in the last year started playing basketball again. And I, I think it's a lot of super male vitality, survival shield X2, eating right. Um, I eat the inner food as well. I mean, let me tell you, and you can get all that stuff at the InfoWars store, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. Now we're going to go to some calls. You ready to take some calls? I am. All right. You look like you're ready. Jimmy from Michigan, you've been holding the longest. What is your question for our guest, Adam Lowy? Hey, uh, yeah, I was uh, involved with the, uh, I've been involved with the militia for several years, uh, Mark Hornkey and what have you, and I was also involved with the Uchari militia, uh, which were accused of basically trying to do the same thing that's going on right now in our country. Yeah, they put out some interesting and, videos at one point that looked, well, they looked a little suspicious. They kind of looked green screen and whatnot. Is that, is that the videos you're referring to? I didn't refer to any videos. Oh, I guess I referred I to them. Just, but is that the same Hatari militia that you're that did they put out those yeah, videos? Yeah, yeah, okay. you know, yeah. The nine, the nine people, all nine of those people were very good friends of mine. They did two years in prison and were let go on the uh, to the day. Yeah, two years to the day. Anyway, uh, that's beside the point. Uh, I understand that you, you know, you. you uh, defend people that have been brutalized by police. You probably, you know, and and you see that sometimes police officers are justified, and absolutely they are. How do you really look at the case? Do you decide it on the merits or the circumstance? Because I understand that the, the law says one thing, but the circumstances could certainly say another, you know? That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at. I think it's a very good question, and I would first answer it by saying that I look at a lot of these cases, and I would say, without a doubt, the majority of them are justified, meaning that the police officer is justified in the use of force. And there's people uh, who do civil rights cases who would strongly disagree with that. But I don't look at myself as an activist. I look at myself as a lawyer, and I focus on the facts. So I think most of the time, um, on cases you often don't hear about. Uh, there is a justification. And so when you're talking about the 20% that may not be justified, and I think it's about that number, I think it's a very, very fact-specific analysis. The law very much favors the police officer. If you look at a jury charge, the law is very much in the favor of a police officer in what the police officer can, can say to get off. And so you must be very careful about what cases you're taking um, and you have to look specifically at each factual circumstance. And so I've done this long enough to have a pretty good feel on how the case is being reported from the beginning, what the police officers, or excuse me, what the police department is saying or not saying to raise a red flag in my mind about this, this doesn't sound right. And this is a case that we should look at. Hmm. There you go, Jimmy. Hey, I got one question for you. They, those guys were all released um, afterwards, and they had no charges after that. Is that correct? It was all like gun charges that ended up no. getting dropped. Is that correct? No, no, they did not have. Uh, there were there were they they there were three of them that pled guilty to crimes that they actually did commit. Mm -hmm. But uh, the but the but the other six were completely. Set free now. One of these guys I've known for over twenty years. He is now the constable. The constable. I am not lying. Wow. He got out of jail, ran for constable, and won to change the system. The right to work on trip. changing the system from within. Exactly. Yeah. And and all of and a lot of these people were precinct delegates for the Republican Party. Mm. We're, we we've been fighting to try and change the Republican Party for a very long time. You know, and, and this is what the militia does. The militia is about citizenship. It is not about violence. Totally agree with People you. People need to understand that. And anybody that's in the militia right now, when you see a cop filling up his car with gas, getting stuff in a grocery store, whatever, watch his back. Because if you do, and he understands that, 
He's going to watch yours when all of this breaks down. Yeah. Hey, that's great advice, Jimmy. Thanks for calling in. Kristen, NPA, what is your question? Thanks for calling. Yes, hi. Uh, what's up? Thank you mm-hmm. for taking my call. I just want to let you guys know you guys rock, seriously. Um, I had a question and then um, for your gentleman guest and then a comment. Um, question. Um, do I apologize. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, um, do you... I've noticed that a lot of these cases, you know, they drag them out. Um, It seems like they do it on purpose, trying to get people to forget what, uh, you know, what had happened. Do you, when you were just saying that this is already going on over a year, it's going to be two to three more years. Hello? So I guess that's your question. Is this a tactic they use? Absolutely. Kristen's spot on. It's a deliberate strategy to um, delay to drain the pockets i think Uh, well it's also just so people forget about what happened yeah i mean at the end of the day uh the longer something goes on the more the public doesn't uh pay attention and in this day and age of twitter of instant media people forget so kristen's exactly right uh here in austin they always say that we have six months to investigate the shooting and in six months we will report to the public what um what the results are and then they will often want an extension of that six months. Right. And then, it, and then you know, it'll go six months, eight months. Here's the truth of the matter. Whenever you see a police shooting on television, something that just happened, when the police department comes to the scene, they know what happened within 20 minutes, maybe an hour. They always have their top investigators on it. This stuff is not rocket science. It's very obvious what happened, whether it was a clean shoot, whether it was a suspicious shooting. The very idea this needs to take six months or a long time is nonsense. But the government does it for Kristen's exact reason. So people forget about it. Then so lawyers can wordsmith the uh, investigation and go, well, we've we've ended up we've uh, calculated that there is no culpability in in this point. Right. The longer it goes on, the more it benefits the government. People forget about it. Witnesses disappear. It's just not that big of an issue. I think you've seen that in other cities that have made national news and that is absolutely a strategy. All right. Kristen, anything else? Yes, um, I just, um, I also, Alex was talking about some things, and, you know, I, my, I feel the same way. My spirit has been heavily, heavily burdened here lately, and, you know, um, I'm a God-fearing woman, you know, I read the Bible and always took, look to the Lord first, and as much as I want to see things change, I, to see that this is, you know, Things are heading predestined, you know, that that things are going to get so bad that there's only one person who can fix it, and that's God. And it's it's awesome to see people coming together, and I do believe, you know, the Lord is showing people, you know, the truth. And he wants people to take a stand with the, you know, the Planned Parenthood issue, mm-hmm. with a you know, the violence on on, um, civilians against the police, you know, the corruption in our government, the list goes on and on. But I really see more than anything, you know, we all consistently talk about a great awakening happening, happening. And it's, I believe the Lord is showing these things. He's allowing these things to come to light so that... Yeah, he's casting light on them so they dis... You know, so people, good, honest people can go, hey, this isn't right. We have to take a stand at this point because if we don't, we only have ourselves to blame in the end. If we sit back and go, well, you know, uh, God's going to take care of it. No, God is showing us so we take care of it. We're the ones here. We're the ones put here on this earth to take care of it. Hey, thanks for calling, Kristen. Really appreciate that. How FEMA Region 3, what is your question? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I want to start off by saying um, the reason why people need to watch InfoWars is one reason, and that's because... Nobody else really understands what the term New World Order means and can explain it like you guys. And until people do, they just cannot debate your platform on an intellectual level. With that being said, I have a question and then a serious prediction on the next false flag. First, my question is, um, let me start by saying a lot of people uh, get stopped because a cop can... Uh, ask them for their ID or whatever, but a lot of times there's instances where people just get stopped walking in the street where you're not even required to have an ID on you, and then what do you do at that point? Do you be subservient and just do what they tell you, or 
do you risk um, 